What's up guys, Alder here with PragerU. The term racism has been thrown around a lot recently. So today we came to California State University Northridge to ask students to react to a couple media headlines and to see if they think the term racism is overused in today's society. Let's go. So it's pumpkin spice latte season. What do you guys think of pumpkin spice lattes? Love it. I actually liked it the most. It's probably my favorite one. I didn't want to try it first, but I, when I try it, I was like, it's a good option. What if I were to tell you guys that by drinking pumpkin spice lattes, you may be engaging in racism? I'd be confused. How? So there was this new article came out, I wanna show you guys. It says how racism found a home in pumpkin spice latte culture. This woman who wrote the article says that not only pumpkin spice lattes, but pumpkins have a history of whiteness and it's very deeply embedded in white culture. What's your guys' reaction to this? Um, I think it's tasty <laughs> and I don't think about race when I'm drinking it. I don't really care. Get your lattes if you want them. I mean, I'm. Still confused, how? How does a fruit remark like uh, the history of a culture? I, I mean, everyone loves it. There's nothing negative about so, it. So would you say like pumpkin pie is racist? Do you ever exercise or work out? Uh, yes, I played water polo and also swim. I go to the gym like four times a week. I'm on the men's soccer team here, so I work out now three times a week. What if I were to tell you that by working out and engaging in physical fitness, you were actively participating in white supremacy? Explain to me how. <laughs> didn't really know that. That's crazy. I didn't think those two would have a relationship. I did yeah. not know that. <laughs> did not see that coming. An article recently came out and it says the white supremacist origins of exercising. What do you think about that headline? It's bull <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think just working out, something like a basic human need would be white supremacy. So that's just kind of shocking to me. A couple other examples I want to show you here. We have BMI standards are racist. We have math confronts its white patriarchal past. Have you ever taken any math classes in your life? Yes, I have. What if I were to tell you that you may be unknowingly engaging in white supremacy? How? <laughs> we have professionalism harms workers of color. Clean pantries are racist and sexist. What do you guys think about these headlines? Sounds a little outrageous now. It sounds absurd. Do you think that the word racist is overused in our society today? I don't know about overused. Sometimes I guess it could be used lightly. I think it is overused, oversensitive. It is used so much that it's like, where's the value? Like, where, Which is really taken seriously for what's racism and what's people just using it as a word or a slang. If it is just the word being thrown around, that's not actually supporting um, what we're trying to stop or prevent, then it can be harmful, I guess, yes. Overusing that word can take away uh, the weight of it and what it actually looks like. It doesn't make it as strong of a word anymore. And it's kind of, it's a shame because it's still truly an issue, but it's just tossed around too much. There's a lot of words that are kind of like thrown around because it's just like, you know, it, it brings out a like some anger in people when they hear, it, especially targeted towards them. And it's unfortunately, there's words like that love to be thrown. People who are actually trying to stand up for racism it harsh it or it like diminishes their voice. Well, you guys, that's a wrap for this episode. Let me know what you guys think about these headlines down in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Follow me and PragerU on all social medias. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya. Even after seeing that Time Magazine headline, are you gonna still hit the gym? I'm gonna hit the gym 50 times harder, bro. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I appreciate your support.